I don't know one of the people that I've been enormously um, influenced by is John Bowlby. Okay. And the interesting thing about John Bowlby is it's a pity. He got this idea that therapy and what we were doing needed to be scientific. Okay. So he did all his work trying to prove he was a scientist. Mm. And that's an interesting kind of future to get engaged in, mm. in order to be scientific. But what he didn't do was write about his therapeutic work, which was inspirational. And I was one of the lucky people, because I had him as my supervisor for seven years. And to, to, to hear about his ideas about therapy and how one works. And that was really fascinating, because he introduced me to the idea that when things are happening, look for the stories people tell about what's happening. Because there's always some story that makes sense of what they're doing. That's something that the systemic world has come to later. But Bowlby in the late 60s was talking about that. And then the other thing he was very influential in relation to, he said, the problem with most therapists is that they, in the work they're doing, are wanting to mystify, to get a position of power over people. Yeah. He said, everything is very simple. Like he said, the psychoanalysts, they talk about the transference. Have you noticed they put on a particular tone of voice when they use the word? <laughs> so they create some mysterious thing. He said, transference is very simple. I behave to you in a particular way, and you just transfer that experience to expecting other people to behave in a particular way. So there's no mystery about it. It's a simple question of expectation. Yes. And that irreverence to the mystification and the technicalizing of what we do it was very important for me and opened up lots of doors and things I could do. So Bowlby is a kind of big one and really fascinating how he used to supervise. Because by the time I get to the end of a supervision session, I would walk out thinking, I'm one of the best therapists in the world, <laughs> through his kind of influence. He was simply appreciating in his yeah. way of doing things, yes. Very much so. And didn't criticise. The most he would do is to say, Peter, I wouldn't have done it that way. What about if you try this way? So it was an enormously exciting experience being with him. So that's a really important relation you have experienced to. Yeah. And all the attachment ideas yes. about having a secure attachment. I think that's very important in relation to our work with teachers in school. How we create security or little bits of insecurity that people feel safe enough to learn. Mm. So that there's some kind of growth and development.